Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know it's hard to see your boy right now, top of the morning, man. It is now about 1.30 a.m. in the morning. We are on our way to Tracy to pick up our load for the morning. Yes, sir. We done made it to this Amazon security gate. We should start moving. stop right here yeah but man uh it's another beautiful morning it's now 221 just made it to tracy uh finna get ready and hit this load man finna get ready and load up this truck uh hopefully we have a nice smooth ride tonight no issues you know just keep good vibes man and good spirits on this nice journey we got so i'll get back at y'all after i get this truck loaded up see what it do yes sir y'all know what it is man back at it loaded up fully locked and loaded ready to go man um so me and the dude just worked something in there i don't know it's my first time doing it i'm finna figure it out and how it go but we basically had the same stops so uh what we did was we split up each stop he took all packages from one stop i took all pallets from one stop so uh yeah we checked out after the desk um the associates, the Amazon associates, you know, they pretty much said we were good. And I wanted to double check, you know, because it's my first time really doing it. So I wanted to really double check and see what it really do. But um, yeah, man, they said it was all good. So we're going to see what it do. But uh, about to hop in this Jeep thing. Get back at y'all in a second, man. Let's go. This good gas station for the gas up before we get out of here. You know what I mean. But yeah, yeah. Prices ain't too bad. Considering what the hell time and life we in right now. Yes, sir. I think I might Start the morning off with a nice Red Bull, man. <laughs> Let me go get a Red Bull. Man, I want me something with some flavor on it. Flavor, though. Man, I heard even drinking these damn things. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh, for the 49 bucks. Hold on. Let's see. We're going to try to fill him up a little more. Fifty-one bucks it is. See, big, big fool. Napkin, watch all the napkins be gone off this motherfucker. I got a little bit of diesel on my hand. There we go. That's how we gonna do that one later. Right. Yes, sir. We done gassed up, y'all. I'm about to uh, probably call uh, the callback number just to make sure and see what I do about getting this extra stop off of my route. So, uh, yeah, I'll get back at y'all in a hot second once I figure that out. Like I said, for you 
who didn't hear me, uh, basically me and another cat were headed in the same direction. And uh, we basically, it was two stops in the, the direction we were going. We both had to stop at both stops. So what ended up happening was he took one stop and I took one stop. So that way we both only had to stop at one stop. But now I just basically have to figure out when I'm passing the first stop, which I'm not going to anymore, what do I do? Do I just hit continue? You know what I mean? So I got to figure that out. Um, yeah, so pretty much let me get at Relay uh, and see what happens. Get back at y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. We end up getting in contact with the uh, call center and they basically took off one of the stops for me. Yes, sir. We done made it back to the parking spot, man. Fellas over there got it going in the shop. Made it back. Time to get the truck parked. Holla at y'all in a hot, hot second. All right, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, y'all, we parked. We made it back. It was a beautiful morning, I ain't gonna lie. Basically, uh, like I said, I had a run for 145 miles, two stops. Uh, end up meeting the guy there, talking to him. And uh, just so happened he had the same route as me. So what we did was he basically took a stop, I took a stop. Um, it saved us both money and time, you know, that, that extra... 30, 35 miles would have went on gas, more on gas. So he saved me that and I made it back to the parking spot about almost like an hour, hour and a half early. So uh, yeah, man, it's been a beautiful morning. Uh, Amazon Relay was great today, great route. Um, yeah, man, uh, y'all let me know, man. Have y'all ever did that? I'm still learning, so you know, ain't no shame in my game, you know what I mean? Um, also on the speed limit on the relay app um do you guys stay at that 55 or do you let it turn red and go a little faster and if you do does it mess with your rating if not you know let me know down in the comments y'all all my relay veterans like i said earlier uh man i need y'all input on that man uh yeah so basically about to wrap it up it's been another beautiful day no issues whatsoever yeah, shout out to the people showing love too, man. Um, it's a lot of people on here that uh, try to put you in their shoes as far as how they run in their business. I wouldn't just hop in this business blindly without, you know, doing my research as well as, you know, getting the insurance on your truck. Uh, you know, a few people ask that question like, oh, you know, what's the basic price on getting insurance on your truck? It's different for everybody, you know, and I'm a newbie and I'm seeing that. And it goes off of your credit, you know, your record, all of that to the ones that's really just giving game and sharing game and trying to teach instead of preach on what you would do and all of that like shout out to y'all man for for giving game and just you know trying to show a brother the right way and tell a brother the right way but uh for all y'all oh, i wouldn't do this and you people paying 50 60 70 000 for trucks right now they stupid bruh it is the market right now. Like, what do you want people to do? Like, just wait until the prices drop and not get a truck? Or what you think, I should waste more money on renting a truck every day or weekly? Like, nah, like, it is what it is, bro. Like, if the, the price of everything is rising right now, which it is because of inflation, as well as just with this game, you know, the box trucks are hot right now, it is what it is. I'm not a complainer, man, I'm a hustler. So uh, I'm not gonna complain about what something costs when I know I can make me some money. You know, yeah, people who buying trucks right now might be paying a little bit more than people did about a year and, or a year and a half ago. It is what it is, bro. The times is different now. So for all y'all that, you know, gotta put y'all input on what people shouldn't be paying for trucks right now, bro, it's a different day and time. Like, 
listening to, to those type of people, you would never get a truck because then you would just be waiting around thinking you're spending too much and waiting forever. And who knows, the prices might keep rising. Um, I had a previous video, a guy was selling, you know, the first truck we went to look at for 48 grand. Um, I looked a week later after I bought this truck and he raised the price up to 52,000. So uh, yeah, man, it's, it's different, man. It's different for everybody. Everybody is not the same. We do not have the same personal or business overhead. You gotta remember that when you're dealing with this, everybody does not. You're like you may be paying a, a note on your truck and somebody else may not be. So the overhead is different. So uh, yeah, man, everybody most definitely, you know, keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, man, I'm about to get back to the spizot. As always, another beautiful day down. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, most definitely. And yeah, man, BG Got Hustle. Most definitely appreciate y'all for watching, man. Most definitely, definitely. Get at y'all in a second. Let's get it, let's go.